cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. It was a scene that angered and worried parents. Hundreds of files of children's medical records in a public park right in Pasco County. The daughter of a deceased pediatrician says it was her last effort to reunite parents with their children's records before destroying them. And on your side, consumer investigator Shannon Bankin has been covering this sad dilemma for more than a year, and she joins us with the latest. Well, what happened here is the worst case scenario of what can happen when a doctor passes away and leaves no plan for patients' paper medical records. What you're looking at is two years of frustration. Medical records lined up at a park. It was a bold move by a woman saddled with the daunting responsibility of turning over medical records that belong to the estate of her deceased father, a popular Hernando County pediatrician who died more than two years ago. Parent David Fetz tells me he's tried to get records for his two children and was furious to find out about the park opportunity after it was over. My first impression was anger. Um, the idea that, uh, you know, records of my two children are, are sitting there for anybody in the public to go through. Um, obviously, their medical history and, of course, any other uh, important information um, that can go along with that. When Dr. Russell Bain of Babies and Beyond passed away, his records went to his estate, and his daughter, Courtney Bain, found herself responsible for distribution to families. Unfortunately, he had all paper files, so nothing was on the computer. So, um, you know, I contacted everybody I was supposed to, the health department, the board of medicine, and everybody told me I was pretty much on my own. Nobody wanted to help. Jay Wolfson, a USF public health professor, tells me the park move was risky. It's like a disaster waiting to happen. Uh, you or I or unscrupulous individuals could hop over there and start taking down social security numbers, personal information. But he says Bain didn't have many options. This doesn't happen all that often. So the Board of Medicine and the Department of Health don't really have an articulated role that they routinely play in coming in and saying, okay, we're going to take control of these records. We're going to make sure. No, they don't do that. They don't want to do that. They place the responsibility on the estate. Bain had to legally hold on to the records for two years. Now she's ready to move on. No, it's just upsetting that, you know, some people have definitely said mean things and stuff, but, you know, I'm only one person, and I did lose my father, and it's been really tough on me, so, you know, I'm just doing the best I can. I left several messages for Courtney Bain this week to find out how many records she has left, if she has destroyed them yet, and how parents can get them back. She hasn't returned any of my calls so far. Hmm. Well, and since the system doesn't really get records, you know, help families get records in this type of situation, what are parents supposed to do right now to keep this from happening in the future? Well, first of all, for all the doctors out there, you need to have a plan in place so that your family is not burdened like this, because in this case, it would have cost Courtney Bain a lot of money to do this the right way and get set up with a service so doctors need to have a plan in place and parents you need to you know get some copies of your records yourself anyone who wants copies of their records can get that mm -hmm. themselves and hang on to that in case you ever need to give it to another doctor down yeah. the road struggle on both sides here it's mm -hmm. a tough yeah. situation all right Shannon, Thank thanks you. well if you have a problem that needs solving better call banking you can reach Shannon on Facebook at WFLA Shannon or just give her a call there's the number it's one eight five five Bankin. And just listen to